Matt Castle, former NFL quarterback, um, doing some work for the 33rd team. That's uh, former NFL players, front office types, uh, head coaches. Uh, talking about if he feels Kevin Stefanski, Browns head coach, might be on hot seat. Kevin Stefanski, if he doesn't get a shot to move on after this year and still be the head coach of the Cleveland Browns, I think that they're nuts. I was with Kevin Stefanski when I was with the Minnesota Vikings, and he's a special coach. I mean, he's got such a great football mind. He's He relates to the players really well. But when you look at him, I mean, just a few years ago, when his first year there, he's the Associated Press Coach of the Year. He took that team to 11-5, was the first time since 2002 that the team made the playoffs. Comes back the next year, Baker Mayfield had the labrum. They don't make the playoffs it was a disappointing year for them they didn't weren't able to build off that momentum they built off of his first year and then the trade happened and we all know Deshaun Watson was out for the first 11 games of the year because of the suspension because of the off the field issues Jacoby Brissett did a remarkable job stepping in but again this is the year in which we'll see Kevin Stefanski hopefully get Deshaun Watson back back into that Pro Bowl form and if he can do that I mean I think he, his tenure could be extended for a long period of time. Let's welcome in Scott Petrick, Browns beat reporter for the Illyria Chronicle Telegram, as well as uh, Brownzone.com. Um, Scott, if he gets Deshaun Watson the way he was, this is a team that, I mean, he, there's no limit to, to where they could go. Yeah, that's 100% right. And, and I get everything that Castle is saying about Stefanski, right? Um, I don't think he's any dumber than he was when he got here, and I think he was a smart co been a smart coach the whole time. I think, at least my opinion, does a good job calling plays. I know some people, some fans would disagree with that, but I think he's done a good job in that area. Having said that, and I think he's respected across the league, but having said that, reality is they've had a pretty good roster the last couple of years. I know the issues at quarterback, um, and they've missed the playoffs. And the way this league works, if you miss the playoffs three years in a row, it's tough for a coach to keep a job. So I'm not saying he's on a crazy hot seat. I'm not saying the Haslam's are – you know, preparing to make a move. I just think the realities of the situation are if the Browns missed the playoffs this season, there would be questions about Kevin's fans because he's job security. Yeah, I, I think that's absolutely fair. Um, as we talk about this, I mean, uh, my, my mind wanders. How, far, how good does Deshaun Watson have to be? I, I don't know that he has to be a Pro Bowl, Pro Bowl good. He has to be able to make plays late in games when you need a play to be made. Yeah, I think that's a great point, Dave. That's going to be key is making those plays in the end of halves and end of games. Um, you know, because the NFL comes down to so many close games and the quarterbacks, the best quarterbacks, make a difference in those critical moments. I I'm kind of with you. The way Andrew Barry's built this roster, I think it's less dependent on Deshaun Watson than maybe it will be even in the future when the salary cap is a bigger issue and, um, you know, some of these bills that they pushed on the road come into pay. Um, so I, I just think he needs to be good. I think he needs to be close enough to the quarterbacks he's playing, whether it's Joe Burrow or Lamar Jackson or Aaron Rodgers, whoever it is. Uh, I think Deshaun Watson has to be close enough that the rest of the roster can fill that gap. 